I'm Dave Melcher. And I'm Casey D. Gardner with the Discovery Channel. We are at the National Air and Space Museum where we just checked out the new Stardust exhibit. It's the first spacecraft ever to go beyond the moon and collect samples of the solar system and bring it back to Earth. This is one of the very recent great successes of our space exploration activities. The Stardust spacecraft made a three billion mile journey to the outer reaches of our solar system. Now it just reached its final destination, the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. So Roger, we're here in front of the Stardust capsule. Can you tell us what we're looking at? Well, Stardust was a really cool mission that was launched in 1999 that went out to the outer solar system and collected uh, samples of cometary material and interstellar dust sort of particles and then brought it back. And then this little return capsule came back down into Earth and the material from the comet is now being analyzed by scientists. This is the first one that's come from someplace other than the moon and it's the first one that came back by a robot. There are many components to the spacecraft, but one of the most unique pieces is... I'm looking at a piece of very interesting looking material there. Can you tell me about that? This is called aerogel. It, uh, it is a very light substance. It's, it's a silicon based object that's very, very light, kind of spongy. And it, smaller pieces of that, little squares of it, fit into the little collector thing up here. And as the spacecraft then passes through the tail of a comet, the little particles associated with the comet impact into this gel, this aerogel, and it is stopped there. Uh, it's it's kind of captured in there, and that's the, that's the material that was brought back home. That's pretty amazing. We have samples from the outer solar system essentially, the very beginning of our solar system. What does that tell us? The fundamental thing that it tells us is that most of the solar system was made of a lot of the same type of objects, the same types of minerals and elements that we have here on Earth. So we're not seeing anything that's all that necessarily unusual. There are a few elements that they have found thus far that don't exist at least in a in a, uh, a free state here on Earth. But what we're learning about now is how does a comet work? We don't know very much yet, but uh, there'll be more to come as they analyze this material and, and obviously collect other samples from other comets. Stardust returned to Earth in January of 2006. Once the spacecraft landed, scientists took it into a clean room and removed comet dust samples from it to be analyzed. Some scientists weren't too happy that Stardust was mothballed so quickly. So NASA and the museum finally reached a deal. If any of the institutions involved with the spacecraft need it back for research, the Smithsonian will loan it back to them. For Discovery Channel, I'm Casey D. Gardner. And I'm Dave Mosher.